We came to this world to change it, each and every one of us. Some of us have come here to teach, to tell, to heal, to create. And some have come back here onto this planet for karma. We are the light workers of Earth. And each and every one of us are systems busters. What has been taking place on this planet for the last couple of centuries is being that the Earth's record is being stuck. So the creators, the creators out there in the galaxy, sent loads of star seeds and earth angels, elementals, asked them if they wanted to come onto this planet to change the planet. Remember, we've had our memories wiped. We choose our parents. We come onto this planet. And then we've got to wake ourselves up. And that's where we are right now. But what's taken place has been a bit of a malfunction. The record of Earth has become stuck. And we are about to go through the next level of evolution. And it is crucial that you listen to this message tonight. We do not have to agree with everybody. Do you think it's easy not to follow the crowd? Indeed, it's not. And if we look back through history, you will see it was the ones that didn't follow the crowd changed the fate of Earth. Where they created a small group of followers and then that morphed into a town of followers or a village of followers, then into a country and then it creeped across the globe. They were not liked by all, and some of these beings were persecuted, and some became fallen. But all of these beings, which are talked about, changed history. One of the most biggest characters, men and women, is Jesus of Nazareth, Catherine the Great, Abraham Lincoln. Martin Luther King, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, Muhammad. Then there was Nurse Nightingale, Cleopatra, and Joan of Arc. And there's many more. What's going on? What is taking place with all the problems in this world at the minute? is each and every one of us have to start taking our own power back. And we have to find what we are hungry for. What humanity's done and where they've gone wrong is they've always looked for some leader, be it either a group or have to follow because we are a tribal race. The wake up call tonight that has been given to me from the angel runner is that we have to find our own hunger. What you are hungry for. Success is not about knowing. It is about leading the game. What you are passionate about. I have met many top businessmen entrepreneurs, billionaires, and many of them didn't have qualifications. Some of them couldn't even read or write, but it was their passion what made them be who they are today. And we need to look at this, of this big global problem, what's going on at the minute. The ETs that I channel in the angel realm They've showed me their view and I've been told that it's an unfair malfunction. What is happening on this planet right now? And it's causing all this injustice. Nobody should be hungry. Nobody should be homeless. 
no should nobody should be jobless no man or woman or child should be dying within a war i've always said it's biblical what we are living in we need to take our power back what we have done is we have looked for the other person or blamed the other person this is a trait they have told me the beings that i channel it is a human trait humanity has done this for eons way back to beginning of time we as a human race are tribal and we have had to follow a clique or a clan and what we need to do right now is to stop following cliques and clans and find our own passion have you ever thought that where we are right now and what we are facing on global news with different characters who are making changes that this is a reminder from our creators that we have to wake up you might not agree with some of these world changes but you have your own key you are writing your own book the next flood of the magical earth changes are going to be maneuvering in this year and next and they are going to start to hit onto social media media world stage and they are going to change history but i have been shown this will always keep repeating if you look back through history every 100 years every 1000 years there's always going to be some huge global change and i don't know about you guys but this is long overdue we are at a time now where we are going to witness massive change on this planet it keeps repeating and until we take a leaf out of these people that we follow out of their book take a page out of their book and find our own hunger then it will start to change yeah i'm not saying that you know that you're going to go and start inventing rockets or planning on flying to mars but what i'm saying to you is you have to find your own passion and when we do that it sets off a light it catapults a light off where the next person will receive that light we are living in times of great change and we have to find our true path this is a wake up call which is coming in from the angel realm we can be whatever we want to be we are we are our own warriors because what is about to take place is going to change human history there is great change to take place across this planet and it's going to change human evolution the imbalancement that has been on this planet has been here for eons like i said because we have always handed over our power and looked for a leader the message tonight is that we have to be our own leaders 
We have to find our hunger, find our passion, and we have to follow our hearts. And if everybody is doing this, could you imagine what shift this will, ha this will take on this planet? So when these people have been in history in the past, like Jesus of Nazareth, people like that, if everybody was at that level, could you imagine where we would be right now? I am getting this message straight from source. This is a message. This is a global message. Find your hunger and go for it. We have to do this. The question is, this great change to take place, this is either going to free us into new earth or it's going to imprison us more. It's up to each and every one of us. We are being shown a reflection from certain characters and we have to do what they've done, not what they're doing, how they've took their own power. We need to take our own power. Because these characters which are playing out they would either past history or present time now. Whatever you believe in, they are not God. They are not aliens. They are just living or they have just lived from the past, their true path. They found their hunger. And that's what we need to do. And then it will start to subtly, gently reflect onto each and every one of us. The more people take their power back, the more light will come around this earth. We need to take their knowledge and listen and observe. Find Find your own skills and I can guarantee once you find your passion, everything will morph into place. And yes, there's bad things going on on this planet. I'm not disputing that. But what we have to do is it's going to be love. It's going to be light. It's going to be action. What's going to change the future for this planet and for humanity's evolution? You need to find your passion, guys. Then we conquer anything. We can conquer anything. You are magical human beings. And then this is going to catapult and reflect and reflect and reflect onto the next person, the next person, then the next person. Wake up, light workers. You are the magicians of the 21st century. Take care now. Where am I? I think I'm stuck on end screen. Guys, I need to stop doing this asshole traveling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck in my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. It's very easy, you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.